In this video, I'll talk about the difference between exothermic reactions and endothermic reactions. Exothermic reactions are those which give off energy. Oftentimes, that energy will be in the form of heat. So you can think of uh, a burning log. A burning log, there's a chemical reaction between the molecules that make up the wood and the oxygen in the air and the products are soot and some some gas and and some ash um, but it's giving off heat that, that's the fire it's giving off light as well but also heat so it's giving off energy so exothermic is giving energy uh, away or you can you can feel it if you were standing next to it uh, another one is the burning of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. So the combustion of those, which by the way is what was used in the, uh, the rockets in the space shuttle, not the, not the large solid booster rockets, but just the, the rockets, the thrusters that are just, just on the space shuttle itself. Um, that yields just water, but also a whole lot of energy actually a bit of an explosion under the bottom at the back end of that uh, space shuttle so that's exothermic reaction an example of endothermic reaction it takes in energy oftentimes oftentimes in the form of heat it takes in energy and I'll write oftentimes that is heat it takes in heat. I wrote it in blue because when you are near an endothermic reaction, it will feel cold to you. So it's taking the heat. If you put your hand on, for example, an ice pack, when you put your hand on one of those instant ice packs, not, not an ice cube, but an instant ice pack, that is an endothermic reaction. It is taking in energy in order to to perform that that chemical reaction and it's taking that heat away from your body wherever you put that that ice pack and so you feel you feel it feels cold to you it's taking the heat away from you um, the the formula for that by the way is this ammonium nitrate NH4 NO3 and it has to mix with water for this to work but it takes in energy and then it yields it's really just dissolving in the water it's NH4 plus and that's aqueous plus uh, the NO3 minus and that is also aqueous so that's the difference between exothermic and endothermic reactions exothermic feels hot because it's giving energy off Endothermic reactions feel cold because they are taking in energy. I hope that was useful. If you found this video helpful, consider liking it or sharing it with a friend.